Hello, hello! Welcome to Si Hinieros video tutorial. We are super excited to have you here, excited about the learnings that we'll be sharing with you today. Let's explore mathematics because math is fun! In this video, we're going to discuss about finding n term formula for a sequence using difference table. Let's kick off with a question. What is n term? The n term of a sequence is a formula that enables us to find any term in a sequence. The n stands for the term number. We can make a sequence using the n term by substituting different values for the term number. The n term enables us to find any term in a sequence without manually calculating from one term to the next. Now, in this section, we'll be discussing about the steps in finding the n term formula of a polynomial equation. We can summarize the steps by using the acronym DRGS, which stands for Difference Table, Constant Row, General Formula, and System. So, let's start with the first step, which is to construct a difference table. Difference table is a table made by subtracting adjacent entries in a sequence, then repeating the process with those numbers. As an example, we have provided the sequence 7, 15, 25, 37, and 51. In order to get the first set of difference, we will solve 15 minus 7, which is equal to 8, 25 minus 15, equals to 10, 37 minus 25 equals 12, and 51 minus 37 equals 14. To get the second set of difference, we have 10 minus 8 equals to 2, 12 minus 10 equals to 2, and then 14 minus 12 equals to 2. The second step is the constant row, which tells us the degree of polynomials. If the constant row is found in the first difference, it is a linear equation with a degree of 1. Second difference with a degree of 2 is quadratic. Third difference is cubic with a degree of 3, and so on. The next step is the general formula. In linear equation, we have ax equals mx plus b. Quadratic equation, we have ax equals ax squared plus bx plus c and then in cubic equation we have ax equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d the next is solving system of equations in finding a known variable to further understand this topic we will be discussing to you some problems problem number one Find the general term of the sequence 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and so on. First, we will construct a difference table. We were given by the sequence 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17. So, the next thing that we will do is to find the first set of difference. That is, 9 minus 7 equals to 2. 11 minus 9 equals to 2, 13 minus 11 equals to 2, 15 minus 13 equals to 2, and then 17 minus 15 equals to 2. For this sequence, we'll be using the linear equation formula, ax equals mx plus b, because the constant row is found in the first difference. Next step is the solving system. In order to get the equation 1, we will substitute the value of n to the formula and equate it to the value of a sub 1. At n equals 1 and a sub 1 equals 7, we have a times 1 plus b equals 7. So our equation 1 will become a plus b equals 7. We will use the same process in finding the equation 2. At n equals 2 and a sub 2 equals 9, we have a times 2 plus b equals 9. So our equation 2 will become 
2a plus b equals 9. Next step, we will subtract the two equations. We have quantity 2a plus b equals 9 minus quantity a plus b equals 7. Removing the quantity, we have 2a plus b equals 9 minus a minus b equals negative 7 is equal to a equals 2. Next, we will substitute the value a equals 2 and b equals 5 in the general equation. So we have a n plus b equals a sub n. That is 2 n plus 5 equals a sub n. In order to check if the formula that we have solved satisfies the given sequence, we will check the general term by substituting the values in the equation a sub n equals 2n plus 5 a sub 1 equals 2 times 1 plus 5 equals 7 a sub 2 equals 2 times 2 plus 5 equals 9 a sub 3 equals 2 times 3 plus 5 equals 11 a sub 4 equals 2 times 4 plus 5 equals 13 a sub 5 equals 2 times 5 plus 5 equals 15 and a sub 6 equals 2 times 6 plus 5 equals 17 so the general term of the sequence is a sub n equals 2 n plus 5 now we have finished discussing the first problem are you excited to tackle the next part of the video tutorial Wait no more, because here is the problem number 2. Find the general term of the sequence 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 17, 23, 30, and so on. First, we will construct a difference table. We're given by a sequence 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 17, 23, and 30. The next thing that we will do is to get the first set of difference that is 3 minus 2 equals 1 5 minus 3 equals 2 8 minus 5 equals 3 12 minus 8 equals 4 17 minus 12 equals 5 23 minus 17 equals 6 and 30 minus 23 equals 7 same process in getting the second set of difference 2 minus 1 equals 1, 3 minus 2 equals 1, 4 minus 3 equals 1, 5 minus 4 equals 1, 6 minus 5 equals 1, and 7 minus 6 equals 1. For this sequence, we'll be using the quadratic equation formula because the constant row is found in the second difference given by ax equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Next step is the solving system. In order to get equation 1, we will substitute the value of n to the formula and equate it to the value of a sub 1. At n equals 1 and a sub 1 equals 2, we have a times 1 plus b times 1 plus c equals 2. Equation 1 will be a plus b plus c equals 2. We will use the same process in finding equation 2. At n equals 2 and a sub 2 equals 3, we have a times 2 to the power of 2 plus b times 2 plus c equals 3. Equation 2 will be 4a plus 2b plus c equals 3. Same process in equation 3. At n equals 3 and a sub 3 equals 5, we have a times 3 to the power of 2 plus b times 3 plus c equals 5. Equation 3 is 9a plus 3b plus c equals 5. In equation 4, we will solve equation 2 minus equation 1. That is quantity 4a plus 2b plus c equals 3 minus quantity a plus b plus c equals 2. Removing the quantity, we have 4a plus 2b plus c equals 3 minus a minus b minus c equals negative 2. And it will be equal to 3a plus b 
equals 1. To get the equation 5, we will solve equation 3 minus equation 2. That is quantity 9a plus 3b plus c equals 5 minus quantity 4a plus 2b plus c equals 3. Removing the quantity, we have 9a plus 3b plus c equals 5 minus 4a minus 2b minus c equals negative 3 equals 5a plus b equals 2. In order to get the value of a, we have equation 5 minus equation 4. That is quantity 5a plus b equals 2 minus quantity 3a plus b equals 1. Removing the quantity, we have 5a plus b equals 2 minus 3a minus b equals negative 1, which is equal to 2a equals 1. 2a is equal to 1, then we will get the value of a, which is equal to 1 half. In order to get the value of b and c, we will substitute the value of a equal to 1 half in any of the last two equations. So, we chose equations 4 and 1. 3a plus b equals 1. 3 times 1 half plus b equals 1. b is equal to 1 minus 3 half. b is equal to negative 1 half. a plus b plus c equals 2. 1 half minus 1 half plus c equals 2. Our c is equal to 2. Next, we will substitute the values a equals 1 half, b equals negative 1 half, and c equals 2 in the general equation. We have a n squared plus b times n plus c equals a sub n. 1 half n squared minus 1 half n plus 2 equals a sub n. In order to check if the formula that we have solved satisfies the given sequence, we will check the general term by substituting the values into the equation. 1 half n squared minus 1 half n plus 2 equals a sub n. a sub n equals 1 half quantity n squared minus n plus 4. a sub 1 equals 1 half quantity 1 squared minus 1 plus 4 equals 2 a sub 2 equals 1 half quantity 2 squared minus 2 plus 4 equals 3 a sub 3 equals 1 half quantity 3 squared minus 3 plus 4 equals 5 a sub 4 equals 1 half 4 squared minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 a sub 5 we have 1 half quantity 5 squared minus 5 plus 4 equals 12 a sub 6 equals 1 half quantity 6 squared minus 6 plus 4 equals 17 and a sub 7 equals 1 half quantity 7 squared minus 7 plus 4 equals 23 therefore the general term for the sequence is a sub n equals 1 half quantity n squared minus n plus 4. So that wraps up our discussion about the n term formula for polynomial sequences. But before we end this video, we would first like to introduce the people behind this project. Editor, Adisir Hannah Joy. Bantakulo Mary J. Alinios Christian Francis Speaker Ampolokyo Marje Content Auza Joshua Piruan Daki Bayonas J. We hope that you learned something and are able to apply it to your daily lives. Thank you for watching Sihinyero's video tutorial. Bye bye!